Welcome to our deep dive into C++ templates. Today we're exploring a fascinating question that challenges our understanding of template parameter substitution. Our viewer asks, why does the function type appear as hint const instor instead of h const int const instor when using the template with constant? Let's unravel this mystery together. Welcome back guys to another technical help question. I'll be going through the question, the answers, and hoping to help find that answer. Guys, I hope you stay crazy just a little bit like me and get through and work to the solution. Now let's get started. Let's break down the example from N3690 section 14.82. We have a template function H that takes two parameters of type Z. When we instantiate this template with const int, we call h with the arguments 1 and 0. The question arises, why does the function type become h of int const int store instead of h of const int const int store? The key point here is that when z is replaced by const int, the first parameter z becomes int because the value 1 is an int. However, for the second parameter, ZSAR becomes const int score because pointers preserve the const qualifier. This behavior is due to how C++ handles type deduction. For non-reference types, the type is deduced based on the value passed. For pointers, the const qualifier is preserved. In summary, the difference arises from the way C++ treats value types and pointer types during template parameter substitution. This is a fundamental aspect of C++ templates. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. In C++, when substituting template parameters, it's important to remove CV qualifiers from basic non-pod types. This is outlined in the C++11 standard, which specifies that function parameter types are adjusted by deleting top-level CV qualifiers. The C++11 standard explains that all function declarations must agree on return types and parameter types. After determining parameter types, any CV qualifiers are deleted, ensuring consistency in function type. There are discussions on platforms like Stack Overflow regarding how CV qualifiers behave differently for primitive and user-defined types highlighting the nuances in type handling in C++. I hope that video helped find the resolution that you're looking for. And if it did, please, I'd appreciate it if you could hit subscribe. Until the next time that you need more technical help, I hope you have a great one. See ya.